get out my hand was a dream. I dreamed of making me less. Cruising through the city with my top laid back. I know of course, my name is Coach Yvonne Harrison. I've been doing this for 23 years now. And uh, who I am as a person, I'm a coach, I'm a mother, you know, uh, and I just, I en and I'm a grandmother, and I enjoy all of those aspects of, you know, who I am and what I've become. I'm a teacher. I'll have a new subject um, this year, uh, psychology. And it's the study of the mind and behavior. So I'm using what I do in the classroom and also bring it out on to the court. So that way, it's another aspect that I'm looking at, how to uh, make a person uh, more athletic, uh, more competitive, more determined, or whatever. And so that's, that's, that's what I like to do. And the reason I decided to coach it wasn't that I wanted to coach, I always wanted to deal with kids. I have a degree in educational psychology. And so I was in an office for tw office manager for like 12 years. And somebody came, cause I had ran track for Mississippi State and they knew that and they knew I also had played basketball. So they said, why don't you come over and coach track for us? And I did when I first started here at Columbus High School, I started as a seventh and eighth grade basketball coach, but I was the varsity assistant track coach. And then I became the varsity head track and field coach. And then this job came available and then I became the head uh, basketball coach as well as um, track and field, you know, and it has been so rewarding. But this path is just was kind of given to me. It, this is not what I went to school to do. This is not what I, uh, my expectation was to be. It was just something that fell in my lap. Okay, that's Rokila. You know, that's Kayla Wilson. Okay. Uh, Bree, we call her one, two, three. Uh, 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 Snoop, uh, Jasmine Johnson. You said what's the name? What's her name? Or her? What fact, what name? The Falcon. You heard like the Falcon name, like is it Pierre with the Falcon or what his real name? I don't know. Well, nobody know her name. Uh -uh. Yeah, we gonna figure that out there, Freddie. Yeah. Bit. She good. This girl right here, she was a monster. Try to tire she, though, she tired though. Yeah, she probably about five, ten, five, about camera height, but she could flat out score. Them yeah, two. She broke the records at Memphis. In Zaria. That's Kennedy. She was at uh, New Hope, but she transferred over her senior year. Oh, I like that lean back shot, uh, Coach JD. I like that. That's what that's what Madison want to know how to do. Oh, the no, the the fadeaway. You know, I believe in in God's plan, and I believe that His plan was for me to do what I'm doing right now, and that is changing young ladies' life through basketball or athletics. I'm like wine; you get better with time. All right. <laughs> Any of y'all sore today? Yes. Okay, we're stretched really good. We're going to do a little conditioning before we go down to the weight room. Y'all know we are in the weight room uh, today. We're going to try to partner you up as much as we can. Okay. Uh, guys, we need to make sure that you're getting with people who are going to push you and to make you better. You know, I just try to make sure I got an understanding with them. Uh, that's the big thing. I, I know, like, right now, you know, different when we were coming up, uh, you know, I kind of believe in a uh, equity when it comes to kids. Like, I don't coach everybody the same. Like, I know I got certain guys where I might be able to talk to them in any kind of way. Hey, I might be able to put my hands on them, grab them, do whatever. And, you know, that might bring the best out of them. But then I got other guys where if I say too much to you, you know, you might go in a hole. So, uh, that'd be my big thing, trying to just get understanding with each one of my players. Uh, you know, how they take coaching. You know, it, it get to a certain point where, you know, you, you can't baby them. Uh, but at the same time, man, you don't, if you know your guys and you know what put them in certain spots, you know, I'd had guys that me getting on them, cussing them out, might fire them up a little bit. Or I'd have got other guys where if I do that to them, like it, the game's just over with them for it. So, uh, you know, I'm just big on trying to understand guys, uh, you know. And I, I, me personally, I can be whatever coach y'all want me to be. Good take. Uh, 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 uh. Stay up. Help them all, help them all, help them all. We played probably a season. We, we, we got about 30 games in this one. Did you really? Yes, sir. Where'd y'all go? Uh, ICC, MCC, Northeast. Uh, Paul and talked a couple times. We went up to Memphis and played up at Bartlett. Um, a couple of places we went a couple of times. I can't think. We went, a little, we went a bunch of places. We played about 30 games. Though. Good for y'all, man. Yeah. Stay healthy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Good. sir. Good. Yes, sir. That's most important. We, we hoping we can make the call to you this, at the end of the year, man. So we can 
Get one of them the rings, man. And Iciana, you probably know her. She got a haircut in that on. She probably does. I hadn't seen her in a while. She I probably does. Ways, and that girl right there, K Kyla. You remember the one we said looked like her? You want to look like that girl? And Holly Westbrook. You know her? Um... That's Tori Ware. Because athletics is only going to take you so far. You know, but the uh, principles and things that we teach here at Columbus High School, that's something that they can carry on into their real life. Like before we um, play a game, we always say we fight. We will fight for every minute, for every second. And so they take that on with them. And it, you know, no matter what happens in their life, they go on and get married and they have children or whatever. No matter what they do, they know that if something goes wrong, that they can fight. Remember, we are better as a whole and not as individuals. We're better as a whole, not as individuals. Make sure you stretch good, especially if you're sore. And anytime you're sore, you don't take that day off because uh, it's dry blood that's built up in those muscles. And the more you move it around, you move that uh, dry blood out. So you can move, you'll be less sore if you condition the next day. All right, this is important, okay? Don't need no ankles, bad ankles. We got one right here with a bad ankle. She just wake up in the morning, her ankles hurt. Uh, Kiana, not you. When you get 10, you go to the outside here and go up. Really pull that calf muscle. Also, I lead, try to lead by example as well. You know, if I expect him to be on time, I'm going to be on time. If I expect him to work hard and practice, then I'm going to come out prepared and challenging them to work hard and practice. Uh, so I am that kind of example as well. And also, I, want, I try to teach them to be a leader in Christ as well as to teach them that God has given them their talent and their purpose. That, and whatever their purpose is and whatever their talent is, God gave it just for them. So you can't be jealous or envious of somebody else because God have a plan just for you. And we're better as a whole than we are as an individual when it comes down to athletics. Y'all run to that goal. Hurry up, hurry up. You can take uh you can take Jay with you. Coach JD. Come on here. Come and stretch her right quick. Uh, we're going Mike and Drill first. You can just do five. Good job, Case. Right, let's go, let's go. Come on. There you go. Catch. There you go. Good job. Good job. Alright, now we're going. Let's go under and flip it back. We're going under and flip it back. There you go. Come on. Come on. Pretend that you're in the game. Pretend that you're in the game. You're actually doing it. There you go. Good job. Good job. Good job, Dariah. We're having the compassion to love. You know, I think those are very important important uh, characteristics, especially when you deal with, with coaching. You can love them all you want to, you know, but at the, at the end of the day, they got to be competitive. they got to be able to compete. And people think you can't do both, but you really can. You can love what you do, and then you can hold them accountable for what they have done. And then, you, you know, and then you can love them all the way through. And that's what I believe. We got work to do, me. All of us got work to do. Shoot. Yeah, don't do, you ain't got to go that far out. There you go. There you go. Okay. It's going to be like when you're up under the basket. Come on, slide in just a little bit. Like you're up under the basket, go ahead. Okay. And now you can't shoot it. You're going to take it. You're going to take it. Take it to the other side. Okay. You can't shoot it because you're under. There you go. The most difficult part about being a coach is letting your players go. Um, at the end of their season, or at the end of their journey with you, is to seeing them leave and go on. In which that is that's what you coach for, so they can move on. But you know, sometimes those com goodbyes get kind of difficult. Sometimes, you know, uh, but they're well welcomed, and that's 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 just that's just the hardest thing for me. And then also to to know a person works so hard to have something and sometimes they just not as good as the other person 
you know, and being able to say and get them to understand, okay, that person is just better than me. You know, those kind of things get kind of hard because at the end of the day, I am a mother and I do have a compassion for people. Sometimes, sometimes in coaching, they don't get a chance to see that sometimes. But that's a hard thing to do when you got a starter and they're not playing as well, then to come back and move somebody else in that spot and knowing that that person had worked so hard. You know, but at the end of the day, when it comes down to that, I got a job to do. Hey, who's the daddy to the speaker? I thought you were connected. Look at me. I can do my phone. It's just all about how life played out. Um, just, yeah, I, I honestly never planned on coming back to Columbia. If I left, you know, I wanted the people that said I was going to be, I was going to be gone. You know, uh, I coached college at West Alabama a couple of years. Uh, you know, I got into coaching in a weird way. I never really planned on coaching. I didn't know what I wanted to do, honestly. I was just still trying to play ball, but when that didn't work out for me, you know, my health stuff, I ended up getting into coaching. Uh, but, you know, I coached two years at West Alabama. After I got done there, we had new staff getting ready to come in. I didn't really want to try to stay in because of my, my second year was a new staff. So my first year I coached for one individual. The next year a new staff came in. He ended up bringing me on with him, but I wasn't trying to do that with a third coach. So, you know, I wanted to find something else. Uh, I ended up getting off for a job down in uh, Florence, Alabama, at a school called Deschler High School. I had like a 3A, 4A school down there. Uh, but you know, I had some family stuff going on. Grandma was sick, cancer, my mom was going through some stuff. Uh, so that what initially brought me back to Columbus. Uh, you know, I called Coach Smith, you know, I kind of talked to him. Uh, and you know, I was just asking about jobs in Columbus in general, you know. And he just told me, well, you got your degree, you know, you got your teacher license, man, you might well come coach. You know, I told him I know you had a coach spot open for me, so you know it ended up working like that, and I ended up coming back here. Fast break. Are we ready? There you go. Way to get that ball up and out. Get it up and out. This is what we believe. We believe that we will put our players in the best position possible to be successful, whatever that may be, whether it's going to college, whether it's in the workforce, whether to go play basketball. You can get all of that at Columbus High School Athletics Lady Falcon Basketball if that's what you want, because that's what we're going to do. Come on, now. Good job. All right, she right there. Good job. All right, that first group with McKenzie up instead of Jay on that wing. All right, let's roll. All right, we're going to skip the ball. We're skipping it. Good job. Next row. Do y'all know it? So we make sure we walk through it right quick. Okay. All right. Figure out with a shot. Okay, the people that started in this line is going to be the layup person. Okay, and then they, she gonna get her own rebound and she gonna bring the ball back. Hey, it's the, it's the PG, Big 25. Come on, let's support this year. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? It's a real white. Huh? It's a real white. So what the Falcon name is? It's like a species or a name? It's the Boom the Columbus Falcon. Not like an actual name. Like, is it Greg Perry? Nick. <laughs> Nick the Falcon. That is not right. Get you three chances. I'll give you a hint. It starts with an F. This is a Falcon, so you're going to have it. It ain't Frank. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, no. Go ahead, I see you. I don't need no, no, I don't need no, no names that start with L for real. Y'all ain't going to get it, man. Get Freddy. Freddy the Falcon. Freddie the Falcon. That's my next guess. You know what I want, bro. <laughs> <laughs>